come bring it right on around here when you get done, Carl. You'll need these. Now we're going to talk basketball. <laughs> uh, this is a varsity game against Licking Valley. And I'm Gary McNeil along with Keith Smith and Carl King. I mean, The King on camera once again. And I'll uh, give you a little something here. We got uh, London's coming in at 50 50 or 7 7 overall, and 2 and 3 in the league. And I believe Licking Valley's 12 and 3, 5 and 1 in the league. Licking Valley's outscoring their opponents 66.8. 54.9, so they're averaging pretty good decent scores here. Uh, have you had a chance to take a look at uh Well, just been watching Looking Valley out here warming up a little bit. They look like a very tall, yeah. very talented team. Uh, you know, these two teams met back on uh, December December 6th. Of course, there's been a lot of basketball played between now and then, but, you know, they put a 29-point win up against the Red Raiders at Looking Valley, so... Uh, this Licking Valley team is 12 and three right now. They lead. They lead the league. That they're five and one right now. Uh, real good possibility that they're going to end up winning this league. Uh, they played Bexley twice already. They got the number five seed in the upcoming Central District Tournament for Division uh, Two. Yeah. So I mean that's that's pretty good considering Bexley was given the number seven seed. So uh, this league's not a bad league. They got three uh, boys: uh, Falk, Robinson, and White. Uh, averaging double digits per game, so uh, we got our work cut out. It's going to be uh, just going to have to see who shows up for London. Well, what, what, the, what they say on TV and basketball speak is Red Raiders definitely got to bring their A game tonight. That's for sure. If, if they're going to have any kind of chance in this contest, so this team looks very talented. Hopefully, we'll play it out on the field and see what happens. They're and, on the court, and we're going against uh, an ex-coach. It's nothing. This gym is nothing new to Slater. Because he was a coach at Madison Plains for years, and most of the years at Madison Plains, he beat us. Yeah. So uh, he basically, I don't know if he knows that much about Coach Roney's tight ball, but Coach Roney took it to him last year. One time, the Licking Valley got him back. But it's, it turned out both games were very, very physical. From that team of last year, we're missing a lot of inside help. Uh -huh. With Edley, who was end up with the leading one of the leading rebounders and held, holds a record for most rebounds in the game. So somebody's got to step up and help Robinson on the inside to give Jump London a chance. And they've also got to have, we're, we lost Dickens, so we don't have that outside shooter. And so we're in the process of a lot of young boys trying to rebuild, and it's, uh, it's, it's taking time. Tell you what, folks, um, stick around. Before you go, Carl, let, let me give you the trivia question. How about that? Because I'll forget it sure as all goodness. I want to know the most three-point field goals in a single game, in a single season. The most, most three-point field goals in a single season. Who did it and what was the longest shot? Answer later. This from London? It's later. the London team. Come from the London team. I'll tell you, I'll give it. It was in 1993. Okay, let's get ready for a ball game. Let's rumble. <laughs>
Sound like it's done pretty good, Jimmy Carl. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> it's time to rumble. Barkoviak, Buchanan, DeFilippo, and Bennett. If they get it done, or whatever works. But Robinson's going to be jumping center again. Got a big sign over there, beat those Panthers. <laughs> Robinson jumping center against Brian I'm White. sure they're wanting to get that on before they tear it up. <laughs> Let's see if this new lineup gives one a little different look. You gotta watch Bennett, he's the master of the no look pass. <laughs> that's, that's the one they call Yaw Warrior <laughs> on WLHS. Oh, yep. first turnover. Turns through to his through 6 3, Brian White. It's gonna get physical out there tonight, you can bet on that. This coach is no stranger to this gym. But Ricky Valley is really not playing with a post player. They're just running a straight motion offense. What was the call? It's out of bounds. Red Raiders ball. Mark Kobe has to run a be your goat, the uh, man bringing the ball up the floor this time. He takes it to distance and no call. On the floor. Ball against Brian White for Licking Valley, number 22. And we need to get him in uh, some foul trouble. Brian's averaging 12.3 points a game. But he's a leading rebounder with uh, 6.4 rebounds a game. Robinson, a couple moves, uses the board, but a little too strong. Missed the square. Still no score with 6.43 left, first quarter. Markoviak shows the ball, goes in, takes the lane. He'll go to the line shooting two. Hey, hey, hey. 
That was on Robinson and his first. First minute and a half of the ball game, you don't have any score yet. That surprises me. Wickham Valley is going to play a little bit of kind of an up-tempo game. Yeah, we're only about a minute and a half into it, ain't we? Yeah. So, it's a fiddling out process right now. London draws the first blood, one to nothing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hart's going to get a chance, another chance. He's one or two right now. This is where they're free, and this is where we ought to take everything we can get when it's free. And he's one of three. Well, Ricky Valley plays anything like Coach Slater. And Dee Phillip is going to be called for a foul. Ricky Valley plays anything like Coach Slater likes to play. It's going to be motion offense, very aggressive defense, and push the ball on offense. He's going to be getting up and down the floor. And he's got the athletes to do it. Tom Farrell over there taking in Red Miller's greatest student section. Yeah. That very aggressive on this one. That's a man to man. Oh, good spin move. That's Devin Falk there. That's the move that. Uh, Falk's the leading scorer, isn't he? Yeah, he's leading scorer with 14.7. Yeah. Tyler challenges. Didn't quite get the open look at the basket. Didn't quite get squared up. And they're coming right at you. Oh, Robinson. Man, Robinson, I heard enough left. Hands part of the ball. Wow. Robinson inside. Yeah. He finally gets his two. That makes the score three to two, London. It's going to get physical, guys. Actually, it looks like that time the right church just let him play. And it's on the floor. Somebody got caught. He's got his hands out saying, I don't understand that call and that got to do with it. I didn't really see a lot of contact there compared to what happened on the other end. <laughs> Farrell practically mugged Robinson as he made his two-pointer. Dennis Hawking him pretty good. He's a little overmatched as far as size goes. Good pass inside to Bennett. Spot up by Buchanan. Oh, in and out. We've had a couple good looks. Somebody take that lid off that bucket. Neither team is setting the world on fire right now. They're, They're setting up. the rim on fire. What'd you say, Carl? They're running. Seeing nothing on fire. That's there we go. D. Filippo. Like to see him get hot. He gets a couple shots on his belt and gets his confidence. He'll. He'll show somebody how to play. There's a fault from just about NBA. Yeah. Push on. Uh, White. He's a re leading rebounder. Markovic will inbounds the ball. We haven't had any changes yet, so so far, coach must be happy with what he sees. Oh, good behind the back move. Oh, get it, man. get it. 17 right the I didn't know whether he was going to be able to finish that or not. He got a little extra oomph there. Get out there. Yeah. As long as they keep shooting like that. We got to put some more points on. Oh, he had the shot. Up and down ball game so far here. Seven and two right now with 334. London's on top. 
good. Yeah, set it back up. You haven't lost anything, but two seconds. You're up by five. Just be patient. Put some more passes and throw. And Make something the happen. Yeah, man. <laughs> what a move. What a move. Yeah. That looked like an NBA move there, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Mark Slater singing up. Slater wants a 30 second timeout there, and he is not happy. He'll light a fire on him. You can bet on that. I told Carolyn I'd catch her on TV. Uh, Carolyn, there you are. Looking good, girl. That's one of our, she works at the school, or the school system there. I think it's her first chance to get out to a game. Glad to have you out here, kid. Now she's a TV star. She's a TV star now. Yeah! Another turnover on Licking Valley. Damn it! He's in Slater it. can't believe it. Say Bennett's in it to win it, huh? Steven Trainer's checked in the ball game for the oh. Raiders. We'll take it back in. That was kind of a miscommunication there. Still only 9 to 2 with two, uh, just under three minutes left. Let's just hope they don't get hot. My little pick and roll there, it's kind of crowded in there. Oh man, looks like that whistle was called way before, blown way before the, the play actually took place. So they stole a couple points there. Well, Tom Farrell with the bucket, chance to shoot one. And one. Oh. I'm gonna try something here. Think he's getting a little bit too much crowd noise. No, nope, they're loud. Cause I shut that down to a medium. Oh, Matt Russell's checking the ball game for Austin Bennett. He's got his thumb taped up tonight. I don't know what some type of injury looks like. Hopefully he's okay. Makes the score nine to five now. Valley's uh, kind of getting really tight on that press. We got uh, Craner in the game now, along with Russell. Markoviak's back in for Craner. Ooh, trying to get the lob in. Oh, man. Gonna be a foul on DeFilippo. He didn't think so. Well, it's going to be fourth team foul on the Red Raiders already. With 2.35 to go in the first quarter here. Looks like it's being called fairly equal. We've got uh, four for us and three for them. As DeFilippo takes a seat. And uh, Van Horn goes in. Nice lob in. It's one of the top of the light band hole. That's Stevens. He's new in the contest. Six foot four. Junior. Two point ball game now. Red Raiders still in the lead. They're not going to give Robinson a chance to turn. Well, they're playing man to man, but every time Brian touches it, they're switching another man. Get it. Yeah. Count it. Woo. Count it. Russell. 5-0. Hello. And one. And he called it. He called it. He called board. He called window. <laughs> Home glass. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it 11-7. Chance to make a three-point play out of it. Well, for the Red Raiders to win this one tonight, I think everybody's got to step up and play much better than they have been. Yeah. Hey, he stepped up there and that struck it like a veteran. 
Makes it 12-7. Everybody, like you said, got to bring their A game tonight. It's too, early, yeah. too early in the game to tell what kind of game we brought. Still got three and three quarters and some. 151 left in this quarter here. Ungerman is in the game. I didn't see him come in. No. Give it back to Bart. Get open, Bart. Should probably mention that uh, Bobby Sanders is not dressed for the contest tonight. I don't know what the problem is, but hopefully if he's not feeling well, he gets better quick. 12-7. So. Five oh feeling it. Up oh, running to a roadblock in. Nice ball movement by the Red Raiders that time. And we got a call here. What is it? Good turnaround jumper with Robinson. He couldn't get it to fall. Tell you what, Van Horn got mugged down there. I told you he's going to be tougher than that before the night's over. He's going for the rebound and just practically got pushed into the wall at the end of the gym. As long as they let him play. Call it the same on both ends. We're okay with it. See how high he brought that ball up? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, they called that. <laughs> they quit calling it when Michael Jordan started doing it. Is that it? Yeah. That changed the whole way of dribbling. <laughs> Talking Good. big and physical. Look who's checking in now for Licking Valley, big number 40. Ryan Redman. Mr. Redman. He was a big man on that football team, wasn't he? Yeah, about 6'4", about 240. Big, strong kid. Good at shoulders on that man. Yep. And he's got another year. He's only a junior. Oh, good job, by Is that Bart to pin that to the board? Looking valley ball. No. Might have been. Who pinned that, Carl? Could you tell? I think it was Robinson, wasn't it? It might have been. Oh, they're going to call Robinson on the foul there, but that little ticky-tacky there compared to everything else that's been going on. That's mm. two on Brian, so I think that's probably one of the plans of Coach Slater, get the best player on the other team in foul trouble. 42 seconds left. There was a lot more contact right there, and they didn't call nothing. Oh, well. You're going to find that guy that made the call. He's on the other side of the floor. He's going to make a lot of calls like that. Yeah. Robinson checks out here with 42 seconds to go in the first quarter. Red Raiders All up right. by five. Good That's hustle by Bart to make this steal. That's 5-0 out there handling the ball. Ooh. See if the Red Raiders can be a little patient here and try to finish out the first quarter with a bucket. Trap time. And they worked. And they're going to get a foul on uh, Van Horn. And that's the hard, hard foul to be upset about because he's being very aggressive going to the ball. He's got a bad luck shot there. They put a 6-4 and a 6-3 man out on the trap. And, it was hard to, and they got their hands up in the air. And what did he do? He tried to throw over them. Bounce. Yeah. Tell me about it, Carl. Bounce. Get him up in the air and throw it around him. That's where you got to be a little bit smarter than the rest of them. Out of bounds Woo. to London. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bennett was, right. Bennett was in the air, though, wasn't he? Yeah, I, was, I was gonna wonder if he's gonna call that. That's the, about. Go ahead. You can hear the slap all the way up here. You can see it. That's about the same one they called with Robinson on. So now we're equal on those calls there. Twelve seconds to go in the first quarter here. See what the Red Raiders do. There's Hungerman. Hungerman's got to step up tonight, too. Somebody's got to look to shoot here. Barkoniak's going to try to create. Nice move. Oh. He's doing so much jerking and turning there that uh, 
When it's time to finish, he's got to throw up a prayer. It just is not happening. So we finish the end of the first quarter. Leonard's on top, 12-7. You've got a lot of ball coming at you. And a lot of cheerleaders right down in front of you, Carl. One, two. That's 16 or 17 of them. I think of people around the league hear that the Red Raiders are up 12-7 on Lincoln Valley. There might be some surprised people out there. Uh, well, it's so early in the game. Oh yeah. I'm not surprised. What, I'm, what I will be surprised is I want them to surprise me and keep it that way. I want to see a little advantage at the end of the game. Lincoln Valley is the type of team that just wear you down. They got a lot of horses to throw at you. They're not 12 and 3 for nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, Red Raiders already got 17 fouls, so that's something kind of important to look at here. Get Looking Valley an opportunity to get the line. And I don't know if we got the stats on the free throw shooting for Looking Valley, but my guess is if it's a uh, Coach Slater team, not bad from what I'm looking at. Yeah, it looks like a lot of kids, four kids shooting over 70%. Oh, high post action here for Brian White. Oh, yeah. And oh. They're going to call Robinson again. No. Oh, they got to push. That wasn't, yeah, it wasn't Robinson. 3 0 Van Horn. They'll send White to the line with an opportunity to shoot two. His third, wow. He's going to be in the game in a couple minutes. Looks like that time Brian White got the shooter's touch. <laughs> Good game. Inside. Pass inside. Good turn. How about that? Glove trotter shot. They come out in a glove trotter pants and pull off a glove trotter shot. Makes the score two point game, 12 to 10. He's on the floor over there. Mark. Shoot it. Oh, he's yeah. He had him on the floor, too. You better get back. They're releasing the guy every time we shoot, anticipating the rebound. There's Farrell looking from three. Bart got up there pretty high that time. Yes, he did. I think Red Raiders are being a little patient here. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Yeah, I thought Robinson trying to help the official out there, saying that went off a leg looking Valley player, and it did. <laughs> Good call, Keith. The pass was right to the leg. It <laughs> wasn't, hardly, wasn't the way he was going to hardly catch it. Is that one of the no-luck passes? No, he was looking that time. Just didn't, didn't happen. There's the lob inside to Robinson. Right on Farrell. Did you throw that one down? No. Oh on the floor. It makes 16 fouls for um, for the Panthers. London has eight. So they're already in the one and one. And we got a substitution. The big man's coming back Redman in. Back in for Farrell. Mr. Redman. Definitely add some size in there. I don't know that much about his basketball ability. Wow. He just called a foul on Redmond right yeah, there. Yeah, he pushed Tyler Buchanan out of the way. No, they're calling. <laughs> Must be against us. Oh my! 
Hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, Redman was awful calm about it if he got that foul. Because he didn't get that foul. Yeah, well. <laughs> If I go send number five, Palmer to the line. Jacob Palmer, 5'11", junior guard. That was on Buchanan. That's his first. Well, one and one. He sinks the first. Palmer's shooting a mild 75% from the line. So we got the D. Filippo in for a minute. We'll tie this game up right here. If Palmer can, Palmer can put this in. Tie game. Tie game. Starting all over again. It's a game of runs. I hope they don't get a big one off on us. London's putting a lot of confidence in Barkoviak being able to bring it up court. He's done a good job so far tonight. He's done a real good job. As long as he stays within his game play skills, he'll be okay with it. When he starts trying to do things that he really can't do, that's when we get in trouble. I think he played point guard for Springfield Central Catholic last year on the varsity as a sophomore. So. Good job. Oh, we got a good, the uh, two-shot foul there. So Barco, we have to go to line shooting two. We got to get off that 12. Yeah, been sitting there for a while. Mm. It's 12 to seven at halftime at the yeah. end of the first quarter. And now we're tied up. 12-12. Well, well. And uh, I deduct the Red Raiders have not scored any in the second. And they've already scored two, five. So. Get in there! Get in there! So that gives him. Uh, Red Raiders got a one-point lead here. Nice All right. Put it out there in front of me. I'm taking it. Get in! And he should have been a foul there. Well, Kobe gets the follow-up. There's what I say. He's doing something. Kept it up there, and Robinson puts it in. <laughs> Makes the score 15 to 12 oh. now, and we got a big, look like a hockey slammer there. Kell's going to go against the Philippa. And he's on the ground. He's the uh, one who ends yeah. up on the floor. You know, it's funny now, him and Redmond tied up. Yeah, see, I thought Redmond got fouled down here when they sent Crawford, Crawmer to the line. That time, right. he, number 10, Stevens tried to step to the line. You know why? Because Redmond shoots 28%. <laughs> so I think, the, I think they got away with that one other time. Right now he's shooting 100%. Well, for the night he is, but I think they got away with it one other time. But they might have. Check the tape. <laughs> Two for two. Shooting 100%. Can't argue with that. Kilpo's going to have to take another seat. That's his third foul. So 5-0 is back in the game. That's, you know, we are short Bobby Sanders tonight. He's not dressed. So we got three fouls on uh, on Van Horn and three on DeFilippo. So. Wow. That's a good catch by Bart there. And two fouls on Robinson, so they've got our big man in the foul trouble here real quick. Nice patience there by Robinson. Out to shoot that. They're going to call Redmond here for the push. He's just cool about it there. Look at him. <laughs> he was doing it. Yeah. See, when he hand checks you, you don't just push right through him. I know. He's like I mean, Shaq. Yeah, he's stiff arms. You know? <laughs> You come to a brick wall. Rone's upset about something. He's dancing on there. Robinson will go to the line. Shooting one and one. They've had eight, they have 18 fouls against them. Get on the first one. That's one for one for Robinson from the line tonight, so that's a good sign for the Red Raiders. 
Got to make all of our free throws. Everybody's got to play a great ball game to win this thing. Get in there. And he's two for two. You go, boy. 17-14 is your score now. There's Devin Falk taking it the distance. And Robinson goes over the top. Yeah. <laughs> your boy, uh, Redmond was getting ready to break an arm that time. Not, not seeing much consistency so far in this game from the Zebras. You know, one minute they'll call ticky tack, and next minute the guys are beating each other to death. And Robinson up top of the key, and then it's nice steal by Russell. Oh! Five O's up in the fourth row of the bleachers. Step, oh. step on the line, but nice hustle. The Russell hustle. Russell hustle once again tonight. <laughs> He comes into play, 17 to 14. I thought he called a timeout when he jumped out. I think he was trying to do that, but I think his foot was already out of bounds. So. Four and a half minutes left in the first half. And then hanging in there, hanging in there so far. Lincoln Valley kind of spreading the floor now. A lot of times he didn't really play with much of a post player. It's kind of a open, open post. And that they, gives them room they flash they, it. Yeah, that gives them room if they spread the court that they can flash somebody in there. Well, they've done that in the reserve game. That's how they're getting all them easy shots. Because we weren't backing in there and, and picking it up when they got made that cut through there. 17-14. Lob into Redmond. And Redmond just pushed his way around in there. He just gotta, took his spot. Got to do what you got to do. And he did what he had to do. Don't always have to be pretty, it's just got to work. That is pretty for a big man. <laughs> you ever see Shaq do anything pretty? No. Yeah! Good, Not turn around. Right. Turn around, wrap around. Kind of shot underneath the defender right there. Yep. Red Raiders got a three-point lead here with 3.33 to go in the first half. 19-16. Kyle's going to go on Hungerman. Gonna be his uh, maybe just his first. All these fouls are being, being called awful close to where Robinson's at. I'm saying, oh no. I think that's by design. <laughs> that's by design. They get his first foul on him. That's gonna be big. Because Red Raiders got Van Horn with three and Bacopo with three already. And number four. Nothing doing there for Robinson. And he's a 77% shooter. Thanks to Coach Mark Slater, looking down, and giving us some statistics. We've got everything they've done the whole year. Looks like Derek Eads going to check into the ball game for Hungerman. Going to do a little spot up shooting here. Derek can knock down them trays. Okay. That one got a turnover that's going to London. I got to admire Tyler, you know, cutting in the lane there and try to create something, but just gets in there with some big trees, though, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, what's Tyler about? 5'10? Uh, when he's on his tiptoes. Nice entry pass. Russell, five oh, eight. feeling it. Oh, get in ball. All right. And a smallest man on the floor comes up with that rebound. Mr. Ease. Nice give and go there to Barkoviak. He got in there and couldn't know where to go. Oh, tip up by Russell. Got people hitting the floor everywhere. Did you see that pass? That was a nice pass by the quarterback, Falk, there. Yeah. And the team, Stevens. It turns into two points. We've got a tie ball game again. At two, two minutes and 30 seconds, and the game is tied up at 19 and 19. They're trying to take Barkoviak out of the role of bringing the ball up court, trying to make somebody else do it. It's working. You can bet Slater's going to come up with an answer for whatever you throw at him. Oh, Paul Redmond for a push. Slater, and Slater is hot. <laughs> He was 
He was doing his dance down there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was hopping. <laughs> How many Redmond got so far? I he was hopping mad. Uh -huh. Post him my way. I can't see. That's his second foul on Redmond. So. You can't have everything. <laughs> Mr. Robinson misses his foul shot there. Oh, Redmond in there. Gravel. Oh, oh my. Oh. You know what? No, I better just shut up. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> There's three fouls on Robinson. That, that wasn't Rob. Well, that was on Robinson. Oh, it was. Yeah. I thought they said 20. No, 4 2. Yep. We got guys getting knocked to the turf. No helmets, no shoulder pads. At home. And then they call that. Okay, Keith, I'm down. I'm gonna put Van Horn back in. <laughs> well, Matt Russell, you're the big man now. <laughs> So I'm asking Coach for him, I suppose to go. That time Redmond misses two, so now he's only 50% on the night. He went up strong, got that rebound, Russell did. Yeah, he did. Used a couple bows. Yeah. Well, Those hey, bows were flying, weren't they? It's, it's on his shoulders right now. I mean, he's got to carry the load as the big man. You can oh. Off the board, no good. Oh, it's traveling. There we go. And we got a call. Score with 135 is still 19 to 19. And they bring Redmond out, so he's uh, served his purpose. He went in there and roughed him, <laughs> roughed him up a little bit. Well, we're able to check in another big kid, David Elliott, 6'3 senior. This team's big, they're talented there. I don't know. I mean, you know, they beat Bexley by 20 points at home and then got beat by 20 at Bexley. They blew Whitehall completely out of the gym. Can't figure them out. And then Lakewood takes them to three overtimes and ends up, Lucky Valley ends up beating them by six. Of course, they, they put almost a, they put a 29-point win up against London at Lucky Valley. So. 19 19. And they're on the mark with number four, Carol uh, Robinson. Got three. Well, we're in the bonus, so Bar Kobe has to go to the line shooting too. But we got to make those fouls. Is that last shot by Robinson a three for Licking Valley, Carl? Yeah. Right now, Barkoviak is uh, two out of five from the line. Got a chance to make it four out of seven. Get the oh. Got to make our foul shots. Got to take every opportunity we're given to we win this thing. Austin Bennett going to check back in for Hungerman. He's giving some good minutes tonight. He's definitely getting some good minutes. He's a senior. His minutes at London are running out. So gotta make him make it happen when you're in there. We've missed five foul shots. We're only down by two. We well, have just a minute left in the contest right here. And the line. Number five. Half, I'm sorry. Cromer steps out of bounds, though. Turns the ball over to London. Two point game, 2022. Bennett pulled up his dribble. He's in trouble. Yeah, he got to come to him. Get the ball in the ball hands of your ball handler. Now watch it. He's going to get a five call on him if you didn't watch it. Oh, 
Aaron Rivers may be content just to try to tie this thing up with the last second shot. Yeah. Looks like we're going to try to go for the last shot. Down to 19 seconds left in the first half. Buchanan for three. It's not there. They're going to call 5 0. Oh, man. <laughs> it is hard to figure these guys out. I can't figure. I don't like to be a complainer, but I can't figure. <laughs> it didn't look like very much contact there at all. He did push him. But like I said, we've seen other kids get completely pushed to the floor. And oh, well. Nothing doing there for Robinson, the other Robinson. I think he can just miss this one. We got eight seconds left in this half. Get out of there. Running down by three with eight seconds. Tied up. Whoa. See what happens here. Bartovac's going to take it in to the trees. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Wow. He tries to do things he can't do. Well, Van Horn got the rebound there, and he's got the foul. He got the shot back up. It'll be a two-shot foul with no time left on the clock. So, so something good's going to come out of that. Well, if he makes a couple of them here, give the Red Raiders nice momentum going into halftime. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Boy, boy, boy. Mm. If we'd have made our foul shots, we could very possibly be on, on top right now. There we go. Two-point ball game at halftime. 23-21. So we got a lot more ball coming back at you, folks. So Jason, stick around. Marching band will be on at halftime. Don't touch that dial. Script one. And this might be a, another play. <laughs> Shouldn't be. Yep. Are we? Okay. Yeah. I'm coming around for the score. Yeah, man is looking for the score here. So let's give it to him. We got a first half score of 23-21. And the leading scorer for London right now is uh, Robertson. Had a big first half of 15, but he also has three fouls, which put us in a lot of in kind of in jeopardy. And then we got the Barkovac with five. And uh, then it drops off to three for Russell and uh, two for DeFilippo. So we got like 23 points. Well, what you got over there? Licking Valley, we just got a lot of balance scoring. Farrell with five, Robinson with five, Stevens with four, Redmond with four. I guess the big surprise right now is two of the bigger scores for Licking Valley is uh, Brian White and Devin Falk. Combined, they got three points at halftime. You're talking about guys, their combined average, scoring average for the year is probably around 25 combined average. It's about 25 points uh, per ball game, 13 for one, and 11, you know, 12 for the other. And they've only got three at halftime. So, obviously, looking guys, got to get, get a lot more production out of the guard play. I think the other big thing at halftime is the Red Raider foul situation. Robinson with three, Van Horn with three, DeFilippo with three. Yeah. Uh, that could play out big here in the second half. It's going to play out real big. And it, like they say, we've been watching the calls, and it's kind of hard to figure out. I'm not saying they're not good calls. It's hard to figure out how they are making the calls, and the players are not figured out, haven't figured that out yet either. But anyway, we got another half coming at you. And then the answer to the trivia question is it's trivia time at drum roll very good most three-point field goals in a single season this is in your book was scored by Corey Bennett in 1993 65 and he also had the longest shot that we know of was which was a 90 footer where they just stepped in bounds and let her fly went the length of the floor and went in 
So there's the answer to your three point to your uh, trivia question. Corbin. I'm done. We're done. Twenty-three, twenty-one. London's on top. Or, or uh, trailing by two. That's uh, wishful thinking. There wasn't. Uh, we're just getting into the second half. It's like the original starters for the Red Raiders are out there: Barkoviak, Filippo, Robinson, Bennett, and Tyler Buchanan. They wanted to travel on Bennett that time. He said that the oh. report, good job of D. Phillipo to get up get in there. and oh. count it. Tie ball game. 23 all, so it's a new day. Had reports that Robertson possibly has some tightening in the back. So let's keep an eye on that. Well, we did beat him up in the first half. I might be a little <laughs> sore, too. He's been beat up all year. That's why they need to fill up on some, some of them other guys to step up. Pass into White. He's only got one point so far, and he normally averages double digits. Get it. Goes strong, make something happen. Oh! That's uh, not using your head there. The Raiders, nobody boxed out there. Nobody boxed out again. Woo! Out of bounds to London has number 22. That's Brian White. White. He's not happy with the call. Red Raiders got to get some of them boards. Hey, we're due for a good call. Not a good call, but something to go our way. It's the way the ball bounces. And it's been bouncing, hasn't it? <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Three-point attempt by Bennett. That's that Bennett's first shot, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. Uh, I think so. What game you at, Keith? <laughs> That's Devin Falk, Ryan White on the rebound. Yeah! Nice yeah. job by Markoviak. Buchanan looking up to push. Set it. Hold, hold it up. Markoviak makes something happen that time. Actually, a nice block by Robinson. I'm surprised White. White tried to shoot it down so low. You can't move one step and get the ball. You got to go somewhere. Oh, good, yeah. Good pass. No! Good pass. Oh, nice entry pass by no! Austin Bennett right there. Red Raiders are on a 4 0 roll here at the beginning of the second half. And Yaw Warrior gets an assist. Ah, Devin Polk coming in there for Licking Valley. Still tie game at 25. Ooh. Yeah. That was close again. <laughs> He's trying to force it in there, and you can't do that. When you're at home, that's close. When you're on the road, that's traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Tie ball game with 535 left in the third quarter. Markoviak the inbounds. Lob to Robinson. Licking Valley's going to be in a man-to-man -man here. Pick and roll, two-man game there between Tyler Buchanan and DeFilippo. Farrell wanted a jump ball. He got, he got much bigger than you got, don't he? Number four. Bigger than who? A much beard. Oh. <laughs> you making fun of my beard here? <laughs> no, you got a nice beard, boy. <laughs> For a young fella. Looks <laughs> like Robinson was pushed in. Nice one. Yeah. On the Take it to the hoop, baby. Throw it down, young man. Throw it down. Take him to school. Yay. 20. Hunter just took the lead. Yeah. And Bart comes up with that. Woo. There he goes. Yeah. Count it, count it. Oh. oh, they waved it off. They got to fall down on the floor. Right? <laughs> Coach Mark Slater. Going to have a coronary down there on the Lincoln Valley bench. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe rightfully so. I don't know. I'd... 
Come on, Robinson. Wow. Well, he was stripped and he gets it back. Nothing doing. Nice rebound by Farrell. He's not real tall, but he's thick. There's a fighter in there. Foul on the Philippo, that's his fourth. Mm. 4.30 to go here in the third period. Red Raiders up by two, 27-25. It's not a lot of score for as much as they've been getting up and down the floor. Really? Yeah, I'd hate to look at the shooting percentage this time. They're not, they're not good. Oh! And they'll call out on the floor again. Coach Slater's going to have a second coronary. they call out on by Coach Yak. That's just his first. And Matt Russell's going to check in for the Filippo. He's got four fouls. Hungerman's going to check in now for the, the ref is talking to him. Tell him to calm down a little bit. And he'll call it. Boy, man, they're trying to send a message that they're going to get control of this game. I think that's what they're doing. That team's shooting the one on one here shortly. Well, each team's got three team fouls. So. Oh, he put a little arch on that one, didn't he? She was over the big man. Tie ball game. Like the younger get on a hot streak here. We got Hungerman, Buchanan, Markoviak, 5-0 Russell, and Robinson in the game for London right now. We're not getting any breaks. Man. Coach Rone wanted that call because Rone was, I mean, the Robinson was pushed. We threw him off balance, but uh, they still give us the traveling call. Still got a tie ball game, 27-27. Farrell up. Man. Down. He wants it to count. Nope, we're going to call it down on the floor again. I don't mind good <laughs> officials, and I don't mind bad officials, but I can't stand inconsistent officials. You I know? Hear. Not that my opinion matters, but... It don't. <laughs> <laughs> Farrell looking for three. Rebound Robinson. Another one to foul in. They were slapping from every angle. They must know Unger. Did Ungerman shoot pretty good up there? Uh, I don't know. That was early in the season. That was when he was a lot more offensive. I think they won the five count then. Robinson stepping out. Ryan White with the rebound for Licking Valley. They're going to push. They're pushing Robinson out. White. The two. Then that little two-foot jump stop you don't like. Yep. He kind of convinced Brian Robinson there that he might shoot that shot from not far. As soon as Brian come out on him, he just drove right past him. Nice look. Get in, baby. Pivo goes down hard, but not before he get a chance to go shoot two foul shots. pivo has got three points so far. He's hit his only foul shot he's had. If we can't hit two more. This is a low scoring third quarter. Yeah, look at that. That's six in London. Got Good two. Six in there. Mm -hmm. Six makes seven. Okay. Tie right, this up. Get in there. No. He needs one for two that time. Runners down by one. Two and a half minutes to go into third quarter. That's off. 
Polk took it to school that time. You know, I talked at halftime about Polk and White had to step it up for them. Well, they've got all eight second half points for Licking Valley. They're going to draw a foul. And foul goes on 24. That's Polk. That's three on him. Red Raiders need something here. Three point looking valley lead. Markoviak slashing. They're going to get part on that one. That's going to be on Markoviak. Yep. He does a pretty decent job of getting to where he wants to go. He just doesn't seem to be able to finish after he gets there. 31-28. This Falk's just taking over for Licking Valley. Oh, it's foul number four on Matt Russell. Oh, I guess this is third now, I'm sorry. We don't need to give him any more than what he's already got. <laughs> The Red Raiders are definitely in some foul trouble. And their next foul against London, they're going to be shooting into one and one. So. Yeah, London has 16 fouls. The Panthers have five. This one good for Falk. Folks are leading free throw shooter at 80%. Looks pretty smooth out there. See if he can knock down his second. Actually, that just makes him two for three on the contest right there. So, the Valley's stepping up their trap. They're trying to put the press on him. Well, Kovac does a nice job breaking it. You don't like that, though. You want him to pass. I do like seeing Tyler. Pass Get in there. Uh oh. Oh, looking Valley. Well, oh, he wanted Robinson with that foul that time. They want Robinson out of their bag. We better nice tighten job. up here. Get nice away from job us. by the Red Raiders to step in there and give a little help. They really got the floor spread very wide. Got a minute left in this uh, third quarter. The Raiders are man to man, but they're really sucking back. Falk shoots a three. I don't think Coach Slater wanted that one. Off of Buchanan. We're under a minute here to go in the third quarter. Who was it off of before it got it went off of Buchanan? If it don't hit Buchanan, whose ball is it? Well, I think Licking Valley player grabbed it, threw it against Buchanan's leg. Okay. Then went out of bounds. Then it hit Mike Wilson. Mike Wilson's a Red Raider, so Licking Valley. <laughs> Good explanation, Keith. Chicken wing, hot wing. Hot wing Wilson. <laughs> That's what they labeled it down at the Madison Plains. Oh, Licking Valley got a little bit of a lead here. They're, they're getting very patient on it. Five point game. Wow. They're not going to let him play now. Oh, did, did you see Russell just knock him over right there? <laughs> you couldn't even see that from here. That's that fourth foul you already put on him, Keith. Yep, I jinxed him. I'm sorry, man. And now you got four. I don't think you deserve that last one. <laughs> see, Austin uh, Bennett's uh, getting ready to come uh, out. In, if I was an NBA announcer, they'd probably be finding me about that now. This might be your last game. <laughs> I already don't make very much after they take taxes out for my appearance fees for my <laughs> consulting and broadcasting services. Robinson's going back in for 40 seconds in the third quarter. A six-point game now. Kyle's trying to slip away. Mm. He's made three in a row. There's number four. That's Devin Folk. 
80% shooter. Ethan Valley opens up a seven point lead. Mark Kobiak, content to bring the ball up the floor, does a good job ball handling there. Keeps that ball low, don't he? Keeps it real low. It's hard to take away from somebody when you're low like that. And you should have better control when you're low like that, too. We're down to 15 seconds. And are we going to get a shot off? And we got a foul on number five, FBR. Robinson. Or uh, Kramer. That's four on Kramer. He's a starter. Well, one more foul by Lucky Valley and put the Red Raiders into one on one. So, we're going to be shooting a lot of free throws in this fourth quarter, I got a feeling. <laughs> Many fouls as they're calling. Down five, four, three. The Robinson. Yeah! Count it. At the buzzer, London comes within five. 30 to 35. Right now, um, Robinson is leading the running scores with uh, 21 points. But we're still losing the contest, uh, 30 to 5 to 30. So well, we got a break here. I kind of wanted to let people at home know how the, how the other teams in our division, how the division is kind of breaking out this year. Licking Valley and Bexley are tied five wins and one loss apiece at the top of the league, and they've already split in head-to-head -head action here. Uh, Miami Trace is in second with a three and three record. London in third with two and three. Lakewood at two and four, and Whitehall at 0 and five. But, you know, on the, other, on the other side of the BAC, Washington Courthouse, looks like they're pretty much gonna win that. They're in first with seven to one record. Jonathan Alder surprisingly in second at five and two. John Lowe's got a pretty big team, and they got a big man up there. It's probably right up there in the running to be the one, the best in the league. So here we go, eight minutes left in the contest. And it's a five point margin. Panthers ahead, 35 to 30. You see in there right now for the Red Raiders, we got Hungerman, Barkoviak, Robinson, DeFilippo, and Buchanan. Now he should have traveled on that. That looked like a travel there. Send somebody to line every time he got a foul call now. He'll send somebody to line. He called it on Hungerman. That's eight fouls for London, so one and one right now. This is, this is a two-shot opportunity here for Devin Falk. He had eight points in the third quarter. Him and White were the only ones that scored. That shot right there gives him 11 for the contest. He's Lincoln Valley's leading scorer. They're winning at the free throw line. I see a lot of free throws. Oh, on yeah. The Lots of free throws for Lincoln Valley. <laughs> Got the roll there. And Shooter's touch. Seven points. Looking at Looking Valley scores over this past year. They've a lot of games they play in the 50s and the 60s, so this is kind of a new thing for them. Oh, he choked on that one. Brian Rock or Brian White had a nice rebound there for Looking Valley, and they're pushing. And we got a charge out of it. That's taking a chance. Tom Stevens. But we got the call. But on charging fouls, you don't get the chance to shoot the one-on-one. -on -one, huh? It's always been that way. It used to be something they called backcourt foul when you didn't get a chance to shoot that either. Huh? Markovi had for three. Long rebound and nobody there except for Miss Willard. 
She was a guest announcer last night. Oh, was she, Natalie? Yeah. She do a good job? Do you have to throw her off the balcony up here? No, she's only here for a few minutes. Oh, okay. Tell me how high tech the, their, their station is. Another's well, going to have to pick it up the intensity here. Tell you what, DeFilippo's got four fouls, but he ain't backing down a bit. He's getting his money's worth out there. Playing hard. Playing post defense against Brian White. Nice hands there by. Oh, a three for Farrell or for Robinson. That was out the gym, man. That was a little step out of Bobby. Open up that one down. Opens up a 10 point Lincoln Valley lead here with 633 to go in the contest. Don't forget, tomorrow night, Wes Jefferson in the house. I don't hear anything. I'm coming out of this. Oh. <laughs> Instead of this here. Oh, okay. You can't hear me talk? I can hear you, but I don't hear all that other stuff. Oh, okay. But I know it's there, so. Nice views of the crowd there. Good job, Carl, the cameraman. Don't forget to put Carl in for a year-end bonus here coming up shortly. Cameraman of the year. He's wearing his, he's wearing his ESPN sweatshirt. He gets lots of comments from people that don't know him that think he's important. <laughs> he is important to us. Nice Whoa. entry pass. Robertson had to go over top of him, man, to get that one. That Raiders got to get on a roll right here, down by eight. That's the first two points in the fourth quarter for us. <laughs> Looks like the Panthers are starting to wake up here. They're all for three. That's yeah. two for him. Oh, that's Robinson, I'm sorry. That's two in a row. And they woke up. They're knocking down threes and we hit a two. 43-32 now. That leads up to 11 already. Uh-oh, there's foul number four on Robinson. And he's favoring his knee. Well, did he hit him that hard, or was that kind of an Academy Award? Was no, it? Robinson hit him. He, I, think he hit I don't think he realized it until after they called the charge on him. Looking Valley up by 11. 5.25 to go in the contest here. They slowly wear you out. And here they come. I think Raiders going to take a timeout. It will be a 5.09 mark. 45 to 32. Oh, it's a 10 2 run here for Licking Valley at the start of the fourth quarter, so you've got to be happy. There's some of the students here tonight. It's a pretty loud crowd tonight. Yeah, it's a fairly decent crowd. Pretty good attendance. Also, if you're hungry tomorrow night, Oh, yeah. Like got the I FFA uh, alumni spaghetti dinner. I think it's um, like $1.50 for all you can eat or something like that. So Say I what? Think it's, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably a little bit more than that. But it's all you can eat. Spaghetti dinner right here in the Commons. Got the uh, freshman game at 4 against Les Jefferson. A reserve game at 6. And we got the... Uh, 
Coach Rone just gets a technical there. He was upset because he asked for a 30 second timeout and they charged him with a regular timeout. And uh, I believe that's number one in the T department this year for Coach Rone. I got a little announcement here for uh, February the 8th at 10 o'clock at Lakewood High School, the BAC Championships Wrestling. Wrestling. And that's London, Miami, Trace, Licking Valley, Lakewood, Bexford, and Whitehall. And Randy Scurry is in, Coach said to mention it, Randy Scurry's record is 26 and 2. And he's ranked sixth in the state. Yeah, they got him ranked number one in Central Ohio, so. So, uh, the championships are February the 8th. Did that last free throw go in, Carl? What? That last free throw go in. Yeah. Took a while, but it finally dropped. That one didn't. Well, I just broke up a string for Falk of, uh, he had seven in a row from the free throw. The other thing that that technical does is Red Raiders had the ball. Now they lose the ball. And Coach, and Coach is still pleading his case. I definitely saw him call for a 30-second timeout. Uh-oh. I think he wants the other official to call the T on him to come over and talk, but he ain't coming over. He's not going to, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> okay, Red Raiders lose a possession, lose one point on the free throw shooting by Falk there, but there's a foul they're gonna go against the Red Raider and let's see who it's on. Gonna go against Barkoviak. He made sure he didn't get a finish on that putback. Kind of pushing right through the shot. That's well, four on Barkoviak, so he joins that elusive club for the Red Raiders of four fouls along with DeFilippo and Robinson. Probably not a club you always want to be a member of every day. Wow. <laughs> that was in there now. Oh, clear down into the into uh -huh. the twine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something stung it. <laughs> Ouch. 46 to 32. Slowly getting away from us. We still got right at five minutes left. Licking Valley does get after it on defense, don't they? Oh, yeah. You can with T. Tyler got into the lane and kept his head up while he dribbled through there and uh, found an open shot. Once he committed himself to the lane, he had to go ahead and follow through with the shot. He knocked her down. Filippo still playing aggressive in post defense. That's a ball for three. Another three. Three threes is pumped right now. Six for him in the fourth quarter, so. Six points. Yeah, 14 points in the second half. Tyler got in the trees in that time. Folk gets it out to, Fer or to Robinson. He's turning into a runaway. That's nine points in the fourth quarter for Robinson. Score now, 52 to 34. They finally, uh, Slater finally got it into his type of game. Oh, well, we got a 17 to 4 run here by Looking Valley in the fourth quarter, so. That's a lot of points. Yep. Well, they've got three threes here in the fourth quarter. Robinson just kind of caught fire. He didn't score in the first quarter. Scored five in the second quarter, and then uh, didn't score in the third, and now he's got uh, nine points in the fourth quarter. So. They've, they've got a total of 16 free throws points. And what's the difference in the score up there? 18. 18 point lead right now. Get your shoes back on, Gary. <laughs> you smell my feet. <laughs> Red Raiders got to get a bunch of points in a hurry here. Something in the. You got to look to shoot. Nice shot up over two. You know, in this fourth quarter, Licking Valley hadn't committed a foul yet. Inside the red. They're putting on a clinic now. Yeah, Licking Valley hadn't committed a foul yet. 
Hungerman for three. Backed up by uh, Van Horn. Van Horn. 54 38. Two on one for Lucking Valley. Another easy lap for Redmond. Too easy. They're having fun now. 56 38. Tyler for two. It's not there. Hey, what they are looking to press every time. Nothing doing there. Nice job by Tyler Buchanan. That's a good move there. Mark Kovac takes it to him. And one. That was a nice job by Barcovia. Nice crossover good dribble. Good job, and he kept, finished it. Kept his head up. You know, good noticed point. where his defenders were at. Took it strong. And finished the play. <laughs> now let's finish the three-pointer. Make this free throw. Got Robinson going back in the game. Hill, I uh, know he's. I didn't see Eads go in. Eads is in the game now. Derek. Gives um, Markovic eight points for the contest. Near steal. Well, the stats I see on how Lucky Valley shoots free throws, fouling them is probably not going to be a good way to get back in the game for London. Number 42 there, Elias, first points in the ball game. Eats for three. It's not there. Trommer to Falk for three. And it rains at four. Nice rebound by Stevens. Gets the two-pointer. He's got a chance to go to the line. That gives him six for the contest. I think we're going to call it on London, right? Huh? Well, I don't understand what's going on here. No bucket. No bucket. No basket. Fouls on the big man, Redmond. He must be watching a different ball game. <laughs> Along with you. 58-41. Hungerman's going to the line. Try his luck to free throw line. Mm. It's one and one. You got any points yet, Terry? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not Mary with that. He does now. Come on, get in there. Good hand to Robinson there, because that pass was Mark there. Mark looking deep to Robinson. He travels, and he travels again. Red Raider ball? Yep. And we're going to buzz Craner into the game. Guthrie from the, from the reserve team is in there now. The kid yeah. shot, him, shot him up on the reserve team. Tell you what, if he gets a chance here late in the fourth quarter, I bet you he'll try to light it up in the varsity game, too. <laughs> He's definitely offensive minded. Uh oh. That's Stevens with the steal. He deserves the two if he can get it. Gets his own rebound. It's getting crazy now. 18-point lead for Licking Valley here with a minute 30 to go in the contest. Uh, looked like Partially he's got blocked. shot blocked. DeFilippo back up at the two. Tell you what, that's eight points on the contest for DeFilippo. He's had a nice night, put in a lot of quality minutes, even though he's been playing in foul trouble. Nice hands by Eads. Got in there and passed Kicked that ball away. 
Push it, Red Raiders. Fallon Guthrie. Oh, he got his name in the varsity column. Gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Gotta get in the book. Gotta make a foul. <laughs> he had the rebound down there on the other end, and Stevens stole it out of his hands <laughs> and put it up himself. So, Craner, this one's no good. He's scoreless on the night. Come on, Steven, get in the book right here. Robinson checks out the Red Raiders. Van Horn back in. Put in the books here, Steven. There we go. That makes him one for two. 60-45, 15-point game. Foul called on Hungerman. Bring Stevens to the line for Looking Valley Panthers. Two shot foul. Red Raiders in the now we're Looking Valley's in the bonus. That's a tenth foul against the Red Raiders. Nothing doing on that one. Nothing doing. 60-45. He's got six on the contest. A minute six left in the contest. Makes good on the second attempt. Makes it 61 to 45. Their defense kind of swarms them. They don't, they don't give up too many open shots. And you got to be ready to shoot it when it comes. Craner takes it in amongst the trees, and he's going to go to the foul line again. He's in the double bonus now, so he'll get two shots. <laughs> See, they're, they're looking like they've scored 17 free throws. <laughs> it's not really the difference on the scoreboard, but... Lincoln Valley's made about 30% more free throws in London. So. Foul on Craner there. What's the difference in the game? How many points? Well, but Red Raiders have made probably, they've made 11 free throws. So the so difference in free throws made is only but like what is six. the difference in the points in the game? Oh, right now? Yeah. 17. And they've made 17. Made 17. You make that one? Nope. nope. He's two for five on the night. An opportunity to make it three for six. Ryan Redmond there. 18 point game. They have 18 free throws made. Hunkerman takes it into the trees. Foul on Guthridge. He's getting in there. He's got two so far. Then. Another two-shot foul. Too little, too late. Two shots. Too little, too late. We've missed 12 free throws. So we're shooting about 50%. I don't know next uh, they've made first seven, one good. They've made 17 out of 25. The game is usually won at the free throw line, and that's the difference in the score right now. That's 68%. How about that for math? Huh? <laughs> no calculator here. You just throw the number out there at us, didn't you? <laughs> somebody trapped at home, in the corner. Somebody at home be smart enough to figure out that. Somehow they got out of it. Up. Nice hustle by Craner with 26 seconds left to go in the contest here. 
About the time they uh, call a timeout and get you in with it, Keith. <laughs> 26 seconds, Keith. It's pine time. <laughs> Boy, I bet you had all kind of blisters. <laughs> right in that palm. And he's 0 for 1 there. It's a swarm. One for two, that's his first points of the contest. Swarm is shooting 62%. Craner just going to take her all the way to the hole. And count it, and one. We're down to 20 seconds. 13 point game. Too well, little, too late. I think you got to be proud of the Red Raiders' effort tonight. I mean, this Licking Valley team is tough. I mean, I think they'll go fairly far in the Central District Tournament. They've got a good ball club, and, you know, they, they're only down by there's 12. A three point play there. I mean, they're down, by, they're down by 12, and they got beat by almost 30 at Licking Valley. So, a good improvement by the Red Raider club. Oh, oh, offensive man. foul there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess what? He just got his name in the books as being fouled out. Kyle Stevens. That's his second. He's going to get some pine time. He didn't foul out. Yeah, he did. According to the book, he's got five. Oh. Oh, That's I guess second. I'm looking at something else. It's only second foul. Who's, what game am I at? Craner. Craner takes a strong little hoop. Couldn't finish. And that finishes the contest. 51 to 63. So we're going to wrap this contest. There's your final score, 63 to 51 in favor of the Panthers. I can give you a quick rundown of our score in here. Uh, Robinson ended up with 23, and Barkoviak uh, had uh, eight. He had five in the f first half, and then the second half he got only got three. Four for uh, Craner, and uh, three for Ungerman. And he got four from Russell and eight for the Filippo. So that's a major part of your scoring for London, which puts, takes London down to seven, seven and six now. And you had some pretty good scoring over there, didn't you? Well, for for Licking Valley tonight, they really had a pretty balanced offensive output. Their leading scorer was Devin Falk with 16. He only had two at halftime, so he got 14 second half points, 14 for Robinson. Then they had uh, Redmond with nine and Farrell and Stevens with seven. Uh, this Looking Valley team's pretty good. I mean, Red Raiders showed quite a bit of improvement, only getting beat by, I think, 12. Uh, where they 51 Where they got beat by uh, 29 points at Looking Valley earlier this year. So, improvement on the Red Raiders side of the ball game. Let's look at it that way anyway. In the meantime, we got another game tomorrow night. that will uh, be all day long. Of course, this game probably won't be seen by then. So, anyway, West Jeff tomorrow night. See ya. Wouldn't want to be. Adios. This is Keith Smith. And this is Gary McNeil. And that's the king. <laughs> <laughs> Shut us down, king. Adios. Yeah. yeah. But they set that play up specifically for him. Well, just about 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Pollock steps out for a three. Panthers got 18 now. Looking how it moves it out to the 15 point lead here. Well, that time the Red Raiders got a little smarter and then opened up the back door. Oh. You see what they're setting up? They've got a double post on uh -huh. both sides of the lane. And Guthrie's a swing like he's going to cut the lane. And everybody jumps out there and leaves the middle wide open. Well, like the courage that time, a little number 21, Bryce Cromer from Licking Valley. He had the back door cut. He knew there was a couple big guys in there, but he went in there and took it to him, got the foul, so. Five foot seven. 
sophomore. They only got one junior on the team, or listed on the team. That's number 44. Thank you. Looks like Doug Jackson's going to check in here with nine seconds left. DJ in the game. Red Raiders got to go length of the court. See what the plan is. Uh oh. I don't think this plan's working very oh, well. Get in. <laughs> I'd like to see that win. Put a lot of pressure on Young Doug. And they had a score right there 46 29. We are getting ready for the fourth quarter reserves, the Panthers and the Raiders. And we got one more quarter of action here in the reserve contest. Twenty-nine, twenty-six. Let's run down your leading scorers for the Red Raiders: Tyler Hill with fifteen, uh, Spencer Wheel with seven, Pollock with five, O'Neal with two. I think Hotchkiss has got two also. That's unofficial though. That's the players that's on the floor. Yeah. Pollock just added one more to his stats. And they finally took Guthridge out of the game so they can have him fresh or ready for varsity. Well, I like the way Looking Valley moves on offense. It's just continually in motion. Something good will happen if you keep moving. As long as you move the right way. Everybody knows where everybody's going. It's, just, it's, it's a set pattern. It's just, it's just not out there running wild. Mm -hmm. Thirty to forty-six. Five minutes left in this game. He, got a, he had to travel. He had to do something. He's having a whole bunch of trouble getting on that ball. In fact, like it might have been nipping his hands. He's trying. To <laughs> and there now for Red Raiders. That's Tyler Hill with the ball, trying to create something. He gets fouled. Two shots. Also, Neil, Jackson, Wheeler, and Pollock. Hill's leading level scores with 15. That's pretty good shot there. Good follow through. Good arch. Well, if you're sitting at home watching the contest on Saturday afternoon, come on out Saturday night. Wes Jefferson is going to be here. So. That was a nice shot. I get a feeling Sanders is not playing tonight. No, I don't think he's dressed. So. Red Raiders down by 14 here with just under five minutes to go in the contest. You've seen this same type of ball before two or three years ago. Yeah, now Madison playing. Right. That was a nice shot. 49-32. Tyler will just take it. That's sweet. And the fact is, if you're right around the foul line there, they're not going to pick you up. Might as well shoot it. That's good shooting territory. Good shot selection right in there. Oh. Pierre Wheeler, don't do that. See, he didn't, didn't play defense with his feet there before the ball got to the player. I got like it. the situation there where the uh, official just looked away. Yeah. Wheeler slammed that ball to the ground, and that's 
almost automatic technical. And he wasn't mad at that, he was mad at himself. Yeah. He just allowed himself to get the guy turned, got his body in good position against him and led to the easy shot attempt, which ends up making two free throws on, so he gets his two points anyway. And push it up to a 16-point game. 50-34, 4-09 after this contest. Oh, we got away with that. Hill spots up. Gets a little rebound. Put back no good. And Hill's down. And I guess he's just disgusted with himself because I thought he was hurt there for a second. I thought they had a pass to somebody underneath the basket. And they ended up throwing it out on the wing for a three-pointer when they got a three-on-two break. <laughs> Ow! Hello. Oh, nice hustle there by Dusty Swihart. Trying to get some PT playing time. Did he just run into that or did he get a uh, little help? Um, well, he was just diving after the ball. I don't think anybody pushed him into it. 51-34. Pollock for three. Shoot, I don't think that was. And we're going to Hill over the back. I don't think that was maybe the shot the Red Raider offense wanted right there. But I think Tyler's going to be a really good ball player. I think he puts too much pressure on himself. Well, that was Pollock that threw that No, I'm, I'm talking about Tyler. Oh. Okay. Hill. He puts a lot of pressure on himself. And a lot of times that dude, you just, it'll get to you. You gotta enjoy the game. Nice cut to the basket. Nice move there by Brandon Turner. They set that lane up every time. It's just a simple word they're going. And we have not picked it up yet. And they're just trying to reverse the ball around. Gets his two three zone. Kill for two more. I like the way he creates offense. I mean, he's doing a good job. He's got 19 just so far. And he only had two in the first quarter. So, and I don't think he played. He played the third? Yeah, he played the third. So. Checking in now for London. It's like Boggs and O'Neill for Stuart Allen and Doug Jackson. Twentieth point of the night for Tyler Hill. He should I think he leads all scorers in this contest. Just about three minutes to go here in the contest. Red Raiders down 53-37. That's 16 points for those of you at home that don't have calculators. And we got a travel call. Got a Licking Valley fan down in front of us that's wearing a hard hat. I don't know if we're expecting something dangerous to happen or what. <laughs> it's got a panther on the paw on it. It's a nice looking hard hat. It's something you don't normally see at a basketball game. And we got Hill on the line again. Two shot foul or one on one? Two shot. Yeah, he's going up with foul. Game you watching, Pete. Uh, I was watching the guy in the hard one. hat. Has Tyler missed a free throw tonight? Yep. Has he? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Missed two of them. Thought it was going to jinx him right there, but I didn't. Makes him 22 for the contest. Nice entry pass to the post. Couldn't convert, but then Licking Valley gets the board. And I believe Pollock might have drew a foul. They have two, five, two shot foul coming. 42, 
Swihart. Well, it's Pollock's fourth foul on the contest. Actually, the Red Raiders got three players in the game right now with four fouls. Hotchkiss, um, Wheeler, and now Pollock. So. One out of two for Dusty Swihart. One out of two ain't bad. Pollock makes his move. Throws one up. Yeah. Throws one up. That's what it looked like. Didn't yep. like he had that much control that time. He got forced in that situation. That's all he could do. <laughs> That's all he could do, yeah. Ricky Valley got a three on two if they can Whoa. convert. Oh, nice block by O'Neill, but he gets body. O'Neill's second foul. The team's eighth. 225 left in the contest. Valley on top, 54 39. Hotchkiss with the rebound. He was looking to create. Short jumper, he's in the zone. He is in the zone. Twenty-four. I know he'd gladly give up twenty of them to get a win. Okay, we got just about two minutes to go here in the contest. Red Raiders down by 13. They had uh, this Guthrie to put them in the hole. And they haven't been able to recuperate from them. Nice Guthrie. work here to them. Nice work by the offense uh -oh. there. And we had a bad pass. Ooh. Well, they're letting them play now. Yeah. Getting after it. Pollock took him to school. Oh, and didn't get enough on it. Almost surprised he didn't call the double, you know, the double dribble there because he brought that ball way up by, or by his shoulder almost. There's a high dribble as long as you don't get your ball under, hand under the ball. It's called a high dribble. Oh, and we'll take it. Chili just barely got out the way. <laughs> See her head going through that wall. 56 14, 115 left in this game. He was looking to create again. Oh, oh got a break to the ball. Nice job of taking the jump stop there, going straight up by 44 for Licking Valley, but didn't, didn't finish. Get in there. Down under 50 seconds now. Trying to, O'Neal's trying to sneak up behind him. <laughs> he got tippy toe a little bit more. Did he? He just ain't tipping. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing the real sneak that time. That's why he had his sneakers on, Gary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comes up with the ball. Nice pass from Wheeler. Tyler Hill to Spencer Wheeler. Five second count. Oh, foul there on Tyler. That's five, isn't it? No, I don't think he had. Oh, okay. I, you know, that's his fourth, so that makes the fourth Red Raider with four fouls. It's like a special club. Uh, 15. You just don't get that many fouls if you're scoring like that. He's creating a lot and making things happen. I guess this is his high, game high. T 
10 seconds. Damn. They get a 15 point Licking Valley lead. Red Raiders with the last chance. That's the ball game. Final score, 58-43.